Receive a message from one of our cop. Nagtatanong, cop, ano ang dapat kong gawin? Papunta na ako in a few months diyan mismo sa Halifax. So this video is for you, for everyone that are coming here in Halifax. What are the things that you need to do and what are the things that you need to remember? So if you're ready, let's begin! So the first thing that you need to remember mga kap, if you are coming here sa Halifax po, sa kalagitnaan ng COVID-19 o sa kalagitnaan ng pandemic na ito, you need to have a quarantine. 14 days quarantine. It's very strict mga kap that you need to follow the 14 days quarantine. So for example, from Pilipinas ka, uh, pumunta ka, takapasok ka na dito sa Halifax, diretso ka agad sa titirahan mo. Speaking of titirahan, saan ka maninirahan? Apartment, sa kaibigan mo, sa hotel, or sa Airbnb. Between this option, mga kap, I strongly suggest to stay in the Airbnb for 14 days. 14 days, stay in the Airbnb. Bakit naman Airbnb? Number one, sa Airbnb mga kap, halos na kalahat ng kailangan mo ay nandun na. Merong kusina, merong fridge, merong stove where pwede kang magluto, pwede kang mag-store ng mga pagkain at pwede kang magluto. Merong laundry. So, the case-to-case -case basis, but most of the Airbnb, it's like a house. Kompleto rekados na kapag Airbnb. Compare with the hotel, it's a hotel po, ay bed lamang, microwave at small fridge. So, hindi ka pwede magluto. If you want to eat, you need to order. So, additional cost again. If you do want to do laundry, imagine 14 days na walang labasan, 14 days ang nakikita mo lang ay bed, di ba? At bintana. So, I strongly suggest an Airbnb. Kasi sa laundry, kailangan mo pa magbayad. Whereas sa Airbnb, pwede ka maglaba sa Airbnb. So, I strongly suggest mga kap that if you're coming here, and you are creating a quarantine plan or a quarantine plan, make sure that you are book or naghanap ka ng Airbnb. Kasi majority of the Airbnb is cheaper. Siguro ang average is $30 to $30 per night. Depending, depending ngayon, I don't know. Pero yung mga experience ko with the Airbnb, it's siguro yung average is $50 to $200 per night. So, uh, depending sa location. So, if I were you now, if you're two months from now or three months from now, mag-book ka na ng Airbnb kasi limited lang or konting-konti lang ang nag o operate ng Airbnb. So, that's the number one tip. So, if you're coming here, book an Airbnb two to three months advance para ma-make sure mo na nakahanap ka ng magandang Airbnb location, magandang Airbnb packages na kompleto ng Airbnb. So, that's the number one. So, let's assume that you already have an Airbnb. What's next? So, imagine you are 14 days quarantine. Hindi ka pwedeng lumabas. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-grocery. So, strictly, you are inside the Airbnb. So, para naman yung pagkain ng mga kap, doon papasok ang Settle East Coast kung saan sila ang tutulong sa'yo to settle. Sabi ko nga, para ma-describe ko, sila yung magiging runner mo. So, to connect with Settle East Coast, simply message me. Just message me mga kap and mention, Kap, papunta na ako dyan sa Halifax. Saan ko pwedeng pilapan yung Settle East Coast um, newcomer form? And I'm going to send that form to you and you will fill up that one. Most of the information na kinakailangan namin is yung date of arrival and how many people and what specific needs na kailangan mo. So, the Settle East Coast is here to help you, especially kapag nasa quarantine ka na. Kasi imagine mga kap, 14 days ka nasa loob ng bahay, hindi ka pwedeng lumabas. Paano yung pagkain mo? And you don't need to worry because Settle East Coast is here to help you. So, I'm going to put the link on the description below. You can join Settle East Coast anytime from now. Pwede kang mag-join. If you're watching right now and you want to meet several people from Halifax, join the Settle East Coast mga kap. But if 
the forms is only exclusive dun sa mga taong papunta dito para malaman namin kung sino talaga yung papunta. May mga dates na kasi mga cup. Kailangan may date and time kung kailan yung pupunta para na schedule namin yung mga volunteer na tutulong. So again mga cup, if you are coming here in Halifax and you need assistance from the Settle East Coast, message me. Sabihin mo cup, I need the Settle East Coast online forms. Saan ko pwedeng piramahan? And then Just message me and I'll send it to you on your messenger. So anyway, mga kap, if you want to join the Settle East Coast, feel free to join and you will meet Kuya Al of East Coast Filipino, Kuya Donik, Koji, and a lot of Filipino that already here in Halifax. So join. Feel free to join the Settle East Coast. So yan, nandito ka na, naka-Airbnb ka na, nakapag-connect ka na with Settle East Coast. After 14 days, mga ka, malaya ka nang lumabas. So usually, ang ginagawa ng uh, Halifax uh, Health uh, Health Department is they call you time to time. They will check you if you have symptoms and they will check you time. Uh, they will check you um, siguro random time to, to check if you're okay, if you have a symptom. So that's the that's the way it works here. So you strictly, you need to have a quarantine. So ito na mga ka, 14 days, what's next? Usually we have a volunteer also to help you like kumuha ng SIN number, kumuha ng health card, yung mga pinaka-important ating dapat gawin. And then of course, if you need job, if kaya naman ng mga network at meron nag, uh, merong may provide na trabaho, bakit hindi? To, to all Settles East Coast volunteers, a big shout out to you. Maraming maraming salamat po and of course, to East Coast Filipino Portal. Part din po ako ng East Coast Filipino Portal and shout out to Kuya Al and Kuya Donig. Again mga ka, if you are interested to learn more about Halifax and you want to meet a lot of people, Filipino kababayan mga cups natin dito sa when, as a Halifax, Uh, follow East Coast Filipino Portal and every Friday we have also live streaming 8pm to 9pm po ng gabi dito sa Halifax so around 8am naman po sa Pilipinas so join us mga ka every Friday sa East Coast Filipino Portal and you will meet uh, Kuya Al and Kuya Donic and of course Koji so that's it mga ka if you're coming here the first thing that you need to do is remember that you need to have quarantine 14 days quarantine and the second thing that you need to remember get connected with settle east coast para may tumulong sa yo mag settle dito sa halifax and that's it mga kap that's my video for today and i hope i've able to help you and if you find it helpful please don't hesitate to subscribe and follow me on my social media when in halifax if you have question feel free to comment it below at gagawang ko ng video. Thank you mga cops and see you in our next video. Bye!